Kettlebunga dudes, I'm back with another recipe video today with a dessert which is I can't really choose a favourite dessert out of all the keto and paleo and low carb recipes that I've been making but this one I'm showing you today is definitely in my top five, it's absolutely brilliant a lot of healthy recipes, low carb recipes, you, you, you have them and you think like oh this is really good for a, for a healthy recipe, for a keto or paleo recipe, it's really good but but this recipe is just uh, a bloody amazing in its own right, even compared to traditional desserts with normal sort of flour and sugar and stuff. Today I'm making an almond flour skillet cookie and it's just bloody brilliant. It's low in carb, each serving only has 5 grams of net carbs, loaded with healthy fat and it just it tastes brilliant. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius and grease an oven proof skillet with either coconut oil, ghee or butter. Uh, I usually use a roughly 10 inch skillet for this dish. In a large bowl add 2 cups of almond flour, half a cup of sweetener, I'm using erythritol if you want to keep it strictly paleo you can use coconut sugar but if you're keto you're going to want to stick to sweetener half a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of sea salt I'm going to mix all that together and then I'm going to set that bowl to one side then in another bowl I'm going to add half a cup of butter I'll weigh it solid but then I'll put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then I'll add it to the bowl slightly melted just so it's easier to mix I'll then add one large egg or two eggs if you're not using large eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'll mix all that together with my hand blender and I'll then combine the dry and the wet mixture and I'll start mixing that with an electric hand whisk and, and I'll keep mixing that until it forms a sticky dough. Then I'll add in my dark chocolate. I usually go for about three ounces or 85 grams. You can use even more if you're not too worried about the carbs. I've used up to one cup or 170 grams of dark chocolate. If you're keto and you're really watching the carbs then the darker the chocolate the better for you but I usually go with 80% dark chocolate. I'll then start stirring in that chocolate evenly. When it's thoroughly mixed I'll add it to the skillet and I'll bake that for about 20 to 25 minutes until until the cookie is golden brown. You can have this with some whipped coconut cream or some coconut cream ice cream. It, it, it is very calorie dense and it tastes great so <laughs> don't overdo it. it. It's easy to go nuts with this one. With a skillet cookie this size you could probably cut it into 10 pieces and each serving would fill you up. When I first tasted this it did surprise me how a dessert using low carb ingredients can taste this good so, so it's definitely one of my favorite low carb desserts uh, that I've made. So I hope you enjoy it. If you give it a try leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I have a feeling that most of you guys are really going to like this one. It is so easy, so give it a try. Let me know what you think. Cowabunga dudes.